Hello everyone, Chagu Dot here and we are going to continue our series on Substance Painter for Dota. Um, right now we're going to show how to prepare your, your files to make it work inside Substance Painter with all the texture sets working. Um, texture set sizes for each one and having all the bakes working. Like here. Uh, so I prepared some small guide showing uh, things that you need to consider. Um, when you're working on low poly, it doesn't need to be from Maya, it can be from other programs and doesn't need to be ZBrush, just as my workflow, okay? Uh, the mesh name in Maya, if you're gonna bake using the inside Substance Painter using the mesh name, you need to name it with um, uh, underscore low or the way you want it. If you, if you want to change it, you just we're just following this uh, this one here, okay? Uh, you can change it, but you need to take care about the name if you're gonna use to bake for, uh, using mesh name. Uh, the material name doesn't matter, but the shader name is gonna be the texture set. That's a little complicated on the beginning. So those names here in the texture set is on the shader name, is not the material name. Some people gotta get confused. Um, what else? Uh, the Maya file that we're going to use it doesn't matter. It just needs to be one file, okay? Uh, the low poly is just one file uh, it's here it's just one file and for the brush you have one file for each uh, high poly mesh so on the brush uh, the subtone name doesn't matter uh, but when you're going to export it you need to to pay attention to some details when we're going to talk about bake i'm gonna get more in deep with that and the color you use on your on your sub is gonna be on the id mask and the ZBrush file name you need to match the mesh name in Maya, not the file name, is the mesh inside Maya with low and high. So it, it gets a little complicated sometimes to get it working, but when it works, it, it's really, really fast. Like you get used it and rebaking thing is really easy. Um, okay. uh, that's some details about the, the Substance Painter. Uh, yeah, you can resize the, the texture set and the one really nice thing in Substance Paint that you can just update your mesh. So, um, if you're working with your, I don't know, five pieces uh, on a set, and you want to add one, it's okay. You don't need to start everything again. You just need to update it. Uh, so let's start it. I have a uh, mice in here. Let me import some some meshes. Mm, get this wing. My wings is too big. Okay, let's get big. So let me get more. Okay, this is enough for our tutorial. So when you click it, um, sometimes it comes with um, with a naming convention like the file you imported. So we need to clean this up, okay? The window, general editor, namespace editor, and we clean it. It's not a problem if you are just into a single, a simple bake, or you just add to the to the to the substance painter. But if you are gonna bake by mesh name, which is a really good feature, you need to clean it. Okay? It needs to have that naming convention. Remember when I said here? Uh, Photoshop the mesh name must have a name with the underscore load okay and it needs to follow the the, the high poly name okay so we select this oh I forgot it I need to add some materials. So I'm gonna clean this. I'm gonna add a Lambert. Remember the mesh name doesn't matter. Okay? I'm gonna click matte. When I click on this guy here, it will show the shader. Okay? So this one is the one that goes as a texture set on Substance Painter, okay? You need to pay attention to that. Okay. 
is the guy that goes there. And create a couple more. things is fine it doesn't matter how your name is just that you you know what's happening not just Lambert and you need to keep those names if you're gonna update your mesh okay you can also load another mesh uh, that's not this one but if you keep those naming it will get all the the the, the layers that you save on your, on your texture side okay so we have it then this so now what we do is we, s we export everything together as one file yes so I'm gonna clean this up okay so new mesh uh, new file you have a couple options here Dota 2 the red uh, you need to make some change but it's pretty good right now and this is for the source 1 now on source 2 is OpenGL okay you select the mesh that you want remember that it's just one mesh okay and here we have it so we have the, the three meshes and each one with a different texture set So if you wanna, if you wanna, let's do a quick bake on one of them. Let's get the wings. I don't want. I just want the normal to be faster. And you find the high poly. Wings high. Remember this name? Wings underline underscore high. And on Maya, we have this low okay so we have the mesh here uh, that's the feature that I really like to bake uh, by mesh name on this case we don't need it I can discuss that later uh, but by mesh name is really nice like you can bake everything together without the mesh clipping only the occlusion will clip um, why it's late and for it's okay, a little more here. Sounds good. We'll take some time. I'll probably have to cut the video. Okay, so coming back from the bake, um, I had to pause the video because it's too much for my for my notebook to handle recording and bake at the same time. So um, what we have here, we have all the maps. All right, on these lots, I decided to bake everything. Now that I, I decided, now that I pause it, so if you come here, if you come here on textures, you have your maps. Everything done. Okay, and it's what's really nice of of this is that um, it loads. It uses those ba those bakes for for the materials. So if you, I pre-made some materials here. So if if you load one of my my materials, I can I can give that later. Like this one, it will automatically use a lot of the bakes to make it more um, more visible. So it will use the occlusion. It will use the um, cavity there's a lot of stuff going on here and it's just a you just drag it and the nice thing of this is that um all those masks here 
they use directly those inputs here so if I change it it will change here okay uh, I think that's it uh, let me show something else if you decided to add a new one let me get the belt uh, belt okay if you decide to add a new one we do the same stuff here namespace clean it that's probably a way to not load this um, I will leave the the material without changing just to show what happens okay so you can it came with this lumber 9s it's the same name here okay so I'll leave it so you can see what happens oh, let me save this okay it's saving You come here in project configuration and you can just reload the mesh. See? It kept my my texture structure here and it added a new texture set. So that's the way that you can keep adding. You don't need to have everything on the on one file to start working on the texture. You can keep updating. <laughs>